Hello everyone, welcome back to JC Chapel. Thanks for tuning in. And those who've been watching our school YouTube channel, you're going to have a great time today. Today we are here, Gangwon-do uh, Injegun for 2023 JCS Exchange Program. So uh, we are now in it is called Jajang Namun Sukso with 11th graders. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Ida, she's sick a little bit. Hopefully, she's going to come back soon and will be heal well. Um, those who actually went to Philippine Mission Trip 2023, so now today we would like to share their stories, what they learned from the mission trip, and what would be most difficulties and lessons, how they implement their lives as a better person. A lot of questions that we're going to exchange together. So uh, before we get started, let's have a great time, meaningful time to know who they are. From Caleb Chang, yeah! Hi, my name is Caleb Chang, and I'm in 11th grade. Hello, my name is Peter Kim, and I'm in 11th grade. Thank you for inviting me. Um, hi, my name is Julie, and I'm also in 11th grade. Hi, my name is Lois Lee. I am also a 11th grader. Hi, my name is Jason Kim. I'm also in 11th grade. All right, thank you for your time today. Thank you for your uh, introduction. So let's uh, exchange this question, ask this question. So there are a lot of reasons and motivation you guys to join mission trip. So maybe main reason why you join uh, this mission trip. So I'd like to ask Caleb Chang. Um, I think my main motivation was because um, I enjoyed last year's. Uh, last year's Philippines mission trip and it was very meaningful to me especially because I am part of the agape tree and I, I was always editing videos and uh, making videos for the Philippine uh, students mm -hmm. and um, I also made uh, several memories there playing basketball in front of the house with uh, like the people that lived there uh, along with uh, getting to know some of the students from the Songyu, uh, from the mission. Um, yeah, and so I wanted to experience that once again. So I asked uh, my parents uh, to support me. And I think uh, along with everyone here, uh, it's just good to uh, help out others and to go on mission trips. I think it's one of the best programs that our school provides. Mm. So, you know, you joined the, uh, the mission trip you made a lot of, I mean, the education, uh, the videos. Um, so when you, you know, get there, so you, you know, saw that, you know, kids, they watch your reading book in the video. How, how, how did you feel that? Oh, um, to be honest, at first I felt embarrassed uh, <laughs> that my uh, old face had to come out. Oh, a lot of pimples, right? Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I didn't do much skincare. Uh -huh. Um, <laughs> I wasn't looking good. Um, I, I still, I'm not saying I'm looking good right now, but... Oh, you look handsome. Uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> and part, please. <laughs> uh, Masculine. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, it, was, it was very cool to see them watch our videos because uh, they seemed to be very concentrated when they were watching our right. videos. And uh, we also implemented a vocabulary section in our video. Uh, which they seem to enjoy, and uh, yeah, it, it was. It felt proud to see them uh, enjoy what we've made, and what I've edited, what uh, like Prisca, Emily, and Lois, what we've done. Yeah, it, it was nice. Okay, next question. So, if you had this mission trip before, how was the mission trip different from the previous one? There must be different feeling, observation, lessons, even the experiences. So I'd like to ask this question to Peter and uh, Julie. Uh, so I've been uh, Philippine like three years before, and then uh, this was the second time visiting here. Uh, and the difference was uh, where the place we slept in was uh, better. Mm. There was um at least water but it still it didn't come out but uh, there was 
aircon, and that uh, gave more uh, comfortable place for me. But still, the difference was that we uh, went to the place where uh, we shared the gospel, mm -hmm. and that and the kids uh, were different, and they were very bright, mm -hmm. and I was very thankful mm -hmm. that uh, I was allowed to. Uh, share the gospel for mm. them mm. and also I learned many things at this time mm. and also there was big difference between uh, uh, cleaning mm. in the streets uh, and yeah I think that was the most differences okay. All right. thank you and Julie um, compared to last year that I went, um, the COVID got much better, mm. so we were able to take off our masks, mm. and so that's the most, like, the difference between the last year mission trip. Mm. Um, it was, we were able to breathe better, and even though it was humid and hot, mm. um, uh, compared to last time, um, it was much better mm. to, um, serve others and... Another difference is, was that um, before we visit, there were like fires and rains. Mm. So because of that, we had like um, change of schedules. So um, and we um, even at the place where we um, slept, the water was not coming out well. Mm. But I think it was good experience. Mm. Okay. I thought... To me, in my opinion, it's like weather is uh, even worse than last year, I think. That's my personal experience. But anyway, <coughs> so you're feeling probably different. Thank you. All right, next question. Probably a lot of kids, uh, people, students, and even including teachers, they probably face a lot of challenges. Then what would be the most difficult challenge maybe for each person? So briefly, let's share, let's ask each person. Okay, from uh, Jason. The most difficult challenge for me was um, uh, this time we uh, had like team leaders. I mean, we had last time as well, but uh, I was a team leader. And for me, um, like managing all the kids and since I'm team leader, I have to show like um, show good attitude toward the whole mission trip. So. Mm -hmm. Um, like trying to do that really was um, kind of difficult for me and mm -hmm. also um, I'm quite an introvert so like are you <laughs> yes oh. so uh, like trying to reach out to the uh, children in the Philippines and like high-fiving them or getting to know their names and stuff it was mm -hmm. um, personally hard for me so yeah, that, I think, was the most difficult challenge I faced. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Maybe um, two more, and then we're going to uh, move on to the next question. Then, uh, Lois. Um, challenges for this Philippine. Uh, well, I couldn't. Well, any, uh, everything else was good. I mean, the food was also good. But um, uh, to say challenges, uh, I guess weather itself was really hot and humid and uh, because of the fire we uh, couldn't uh, get to stay outside we kept um, staying inside indoor and because of the hot weather and there was um, quite a bit of um, students including us so that was uh, it, it got hotter and then since I was also in um, the praise team mm. uh, I kept Dancing, jumping, um, ge um, getting to kids, uh, and then, uh, well, the I got sick after, and then, mm. but I mean, your health is really important. But the weather was really challenging, and, uh, yeah. How did you overcome? How did I overcome? Um, <clears throat> well, for weather, I don't know, but. I just got used to this, mm. and I just kept getting water. Mm. Water, yeah. water. Okay. Also, you need um, sleep. Well. Sleep, yes. Yeah, sleep well. Eat well. Yeah. Food was good. Uh, it really okay. good. Oh. What was the most, let's say, favorite me the <gasps> memorable food you had? Kimchi jjigae. Samgyeopsal. Samgyeopsal. 
어, unlimited 삼겹살 we had. 다음에 꼭 오세요. unlimited 삼겹살. It's really fresh 삼겹살. t h a t juicy, right? And uh, it's pretty good. Yeah. Let's move on to the next question. So I'm pretty sure, like you know, um, not much time you do have. We been, uh, we came back from the mission trip about a few weeks ago, and uh, maybe not many. Uh, I mean, uh, much time to practice or implement what we learned from the trip. But still, you do have a maybe new decision, new plans, uh, maybe new um, your opinions. You know how to improve yourself. So uh, let's ask. Each person, what would be uh, their new starting, uh, maybe a um, life or the mindset they have from since they came back from the mission trip? Let's get starting from Caleb Chang. Uh, during the Philippine mission trip, I, I think I was, I felt myself to be, I felt myself very immature. I saw myself as very mm. immature mm. and unthankful as mm. I saw. Uh, other students mm. and other kids mm. and as I was taking care of some uh, younger students in mm. our school as well mm. uh, I saw myself complain a lot as well mm. uh, and seeing all that uh, when I came back or now that I'm here uh, I keep on thinking of ways that I I could um, be set as a model mm. or mm. uh complain less, uh, mm. mature more. Mm. Uh, I feel like I, after the Philippines mission trip, mm. I'm seeking a little bit more growth. Mm. And uh, yeah, I want to learn more from uh, other experiences mm. as well. Okay, thank you. All right, Peter? Um, after this mission trip, I also, similar to Caleb, I learned how immature mm. I am mm. and also how spoiled I am. Mm. And also, and also, I think this mission trip gave me more time to repent. Mm. And also, uh, by looking at the kids in the Philippines mm. uh, being bright, mm. even though they are, they are in hot uh, weather, mm. uh, it was very meaningful for me that I was not thankful for my environment. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right, Julie? Um, for me... Um, uh, after the mission trip, um, I knew that I was not thankful and the kids were bright and they were, um, thank, always being thankful for everything we provide, like balloons, um, reading books to mm. them and like even, um, singing and worshiping together. Um, so I realized how, um, happy I am mm. here at Korea and um, I learned to be thankful mm. in every situation. Okay, thank you. All right, Lois? Uh, <clears throat> it's um, uh, it's um, similar with Julie. Uh, I learned to be thankful because Kids in there, they lost uh, most of their houses, uh, education, uh, some families because of fire and um, the weather. And um, for me, I tend to say that I don't want to go to school or uh, I don't want to study. But um, I learned to be thankful because um, what I get in school is pretty high um, education. Um, and so... I learned to be thankful for um, my learning process, but also um, condition, a living condition, mm. such as foods, families, uh, what I get to wear. And, and so uh, I learned to be thankful for most of the common stuff in our real lives. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. <coughs> um, what I learned from the mission trip was um, I learned how spiritually immature I was because it is a mission trip and mm. we're supposed to spread the gospel to the children in Philippines and like in Korea before I went I was like I would like go to every children and like uh, talk to mm. them about God and mm. things like that but 
when I actually got there, I saw how like like would they listen if I talked about God and mm. is my faith like enough to speak or teach them about God? Mm. Like that was one of the questions I had on the trip and so yeah, what I learned from the trip was how uh, spiritually undeveloped I am and mm. how I should pray more in to develop my spirituality. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for your comments and also a uh, brief sharing, uh, which a lot of people probably impress uh, from your confession and then uh, new experiences. The, thank you so much for your uh, uh, interview and sharing. I, I'm pretty sure um, because we are going to um, have another uh, mission trip next year. It will be actually 10th, uh, sort of the 10th time, which is a 10 years uh, consecutive we uh, you know, visit uh, Philippine mission trip, except uh, COVID you know, season. So what would be your comments or advice for those who may consider joining uh, next year mission trip? What do you think? My advice uh, for the next uh, students who go to Philippine mission trip would be that you sh uh, should be thankful and you, you should be uh, happy that the kids in the Philippines are allowing you to uh, worship mm. you and also you should be always not be complaining mm. about the, the weathers and what you have uh, because if you look uh, if you look at the people in Philippines they are still thankful with what they have mm. so I think it's the biggest thing to be uh, thankful with what you have mm. in there yes All right, thank you my advice for those who will go to future mission trips is um, like, I think mission trips, like especially Philippine mission trip, uh, it depends on what kind of mindset you go there with mm. to uh, and that uh, like that decides how much you learn from it and like having the right mindset to like help others and like be engaged with the activities is I think the most important since um, if you're really willing to help those kids and to like have good time there then it you it actually becomes a good time mm. and you can actually learn a lot of things so um, being prepared with a good mindset, I think, would be That's great. Thank you very much. Yes. All right. Uh, thank you for your time today. And I know it's a lot of bugs here. <laughs> it's like flying the party. So, uh, but it's fresh air, and now we are almost uh, facing the uh, autumn, which is a beautiful season. So, thank you for this uh, great opportunity and chapel. Let's pray together. Jesus, we thank you for today, and thank you for this great opportunity. We could share our experiences from the mission trip. Uh, those who've been watching this one and listening this uh, the interview, we hope that they will get inspired by this story and their confession. And we oh, thank you for the opportunity we could approach many uh, nations and tribes with your love, with your gospel. So continue to use us as your instruments, Lord. Thank you for this great uh, support from our parents and teachers and and you. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. See you next week. Bye bye. 어, 저 개인적으로 두 번째가 더 좋았습니다. 왜냐면 더 넓기도 하고 첫 번째 너무 고급진 분위기라 약간 소리를 지르기에 조금 눈치가 보였어요. 아, 이거 아, 여기는 좀더 바로 앞에 바다가 보이고 되게 좋았습니다. 그 섹시가이 이번님 인터뷰. 이번님. Why do you take pictures? Good night. 언더티.